So this is going to be, is Trump running in 2024? Let's see what happens. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's really easy. I know you're watching. Just subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Ah! Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through terror. Come with. So it's the big question, is he running? Is he gonna run in 2024? Is it, will it be legitimate or is he just running to raise money? Which I think this might be what it is, but that's my conscious self. So let's put that aside and let the cards tell the story. So look, it, probably his legal woes would be one of the major things that put a, you know, a kibosh on some of that. He owes millions of dollars. That's all coming due now. He, but he's got a huge war chest uh, from the donations that he's brought in. And, and But still, he's banned from all social media. But Michael Cohen says, you know, he won't do it because that would end the grift. And uh, he couldn't stand to be a two-time loser. And um, so, we don't know. He's bluffing to make money and through donations. And so, I don't know. Let's see what the cards say. That's the only thing we can do. So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie Elford. And uh, these are Los Carabillo cards. And I got to tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with that magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook that, they're, that comes with them is very useful. It's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and, and read through it. The cards themselves, and it's a color book, which I appreciate. It may not look like these are in color, but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there. And there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations. And then the cards themselves are, are very nice. The, um, I've not put them in the box well. The little discombobulated uh, here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, and in that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of a uh, very uh, shaded uh, color here and there, um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use. And um, so, very nice. Uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck, you know, because you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to. And uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you could have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And um, that way, uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot, some cards that I love, love, love using. Okay, Trump running in 2024, but let's first take just a couple of seconds for a tiny bit of meditation. That's all it takes. So, now let's see what the cards can tell us about Trump running for presidential office in 2024. Trump running for president in 2024. I mean, it's things are really starting to develop as I'm making this reading in the in the buildup of um, evidence uh, that may suggest uh, Trump's involvement. You know, legally, we, I mean, I think a lot of us feel like, yeah, he's 100% culpable, but uh, legally, it looks like the, uh, the, the staffers, the leakers in around him are, have already testified, and uh, that January 6th committee seems to be closing in on the truth. So let's take six cards for whether Trump will run 
in 2024. Not if he'll win, but if he'll run. Okay, six cards, and then we'll take four more at the end of this to make a full Celtic cross. But right now, I just want to know what the cards can tell us about Trump running for office in 2024. Still, you know, three years away. The signifier of this is, uh, let's see, so this is the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is significant of trying to hold on to what you've got. So Pentacles are value. They can be money, uh, but they're really, you know, of the earth. So they're kind of, you know, your core value. And so this is the Four of Pentacles is sim symbolic of trying to hold on to your value, to your worth. And this guy's got his hands wrapped around that coin right there. Okay. And uh, they, they describe this as earthly power. Well, just like I said, uh, uh, you know, their value. So the, sig the signifier of this reading for Trump running in 2024 is his trying to hold on to his value. The challenge to that is, oh boy. <laughs> so this is the 10, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can just barely see that little X right there, the 10. So the 10 of swords, and this is a body down here. And these swords, truth, justice, rules, and law, uh, this is the end of the road for this guy. And this card is described as ruin. So the challenge to Trump trying to hold on to his value for that run is ruin. Interesting. It looks like we don't have to go any further, but let's finish the reading. The base of this reading then is uh, the Five of Swords, which is typically an abuse of power. and But this uh, deck describes this card as defeat. Again, Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. The Five of Swords is defeat. So the base of this reading for Trump running in 2024 is defeat. Interesting. The past of this reading for Trump running in 2024 is this Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is typically, uh, you know, somebody that's really flush with all kinds of, of value. This this uh, woman here has got money just growing on, on the bushes. She has uh, a little... Um, um, one of those birds, uh, prey birds here that they would use in, in the day as uh, a very uh, expensive uh, diversion. And so, yeah, so this is in the past, him having been absolutely flush with lots of value. In the sky of this reading, ah, this is the hermit of the major arcana. This is number nine in the major arcana. So it's pretty rare along the journey. And this hermit is typically trying to shine a light on how he's going to move forward. He's got this staff of uh, action in his hand, but he's holding it firm while he tries to find a path. So in the sky of this, the best he can hope for is to try to find a path. And the likely outcome of this whole thing uh, on this first part of this Celtic cross is... Um, this uh, Princess of Pentacles. So the Princess of Pentacles would be equivalent to the Page of Pentacles. And it's the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King. And I always say that the Page, who's a messenger, he's bringing forth this Pentacle as a messenger. She is bringing forth this Pentacle as a message, is the very least um, uh, strong of all those court cards. They can just bring the suggestion. She's saying to me, look, I have this value. I have this here for consideration. And so this is all he has left. He has a very weak offering to his uh, base of the value that he has left, that he could win that race. So very interesting so far. Uh, four more cards to finish this out as to whether Trump will run in 2024. Not will he win, but will he run? And the self of that question, um, you know, I'm going to try to put these cards out here like you normal would, normally would in a uh, Celtic cross. And if they don't seem to work, then I'll go back to my other format. But um, so the um, my typical format. So the self of that question, will he run in 2024? Ah, it's the sun. So this is the major arcana. And this is uh, number 19 in the major arcana. So it's pretty well along his way. So the self of that question, I guess, is how he sees himself as just the shining, bright sun. So this little fella here is just giving it his all to make his appearance known. Here I am, he's saying. So the self of that question as to whether he will run in 2024 20, is the star power, the burst power, the sunlight, the attention he can bring to himself. Interesting. The uh, Oh, I said I was going to try to do it like this. The um, environment that that's in, however, is the chariot. And so the chariot is the major arcana. This is five, six, seven of the major arcana. And these are things happening at a rapid pace. But we can see that this charioteer is his uh, beast's are laying down. And so he's got the job of getting those up and running again. So things happening seem to be at a stall for him right now anyway. So that's the environment that this this uh, burst of sunshine is in. It's in the environment of somewhat of a stall. Okay. Let's uh, bring this down like that. The uh, hopes of the fears 
for this then for Trump running in 2024. Ah, so this is the seven of swords and this is a thief. This is theft. This is betrayal. So swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. We can see this thief is trying to run off with some of that truth, justice, rules, and law, but there's a couple of sticking points here that are left behind and they call this unstable effect. Interesting. So the hopes and the fears is that he can make off with that truth, justice, rules, and law and, um, and make this happen for himself. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing for will Trump run in 2024 is, oh, look at this. So this is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is abundance, as described here. It's typically uh, celebrations among the, the coven, almost, you could say, among these, these, these women. So the uh, likely outcome of this is that he will give it a go with this celebration. But this is a very weak card for an answer as to whether you're going to do something. If you've got the three, it's one of the very first cards in that suit of cups. And uh, they're the, so I would say, yeah, it's not likely that even if he does run, that it will uh, be anything near successful. Very interesting read. I'll go over it again. So the uh, the question is, will Trump run in 2024? And the signifier of that is this uh, four pentacles, pentacles being value. And the four pentacles represents trying to hold on to your value. But it's challenged by what? It's challenged by this ten of swords, truth, justice, rules, law. I've just stabbed this person right in the back. They put an end to that cycle. Okay, so that's the challenge to holding on to his values, that end. The base of it, however, is this five of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, and uh, that's typically an abuse of power. And they, they describe this card in this deck as defeat. So the base of this whole thing is the defeat of this truth and justice. Uh, the past of this uh, reading is the nine of uh, pentacles, where someone was just flush with abundance, okay? Had more than they needed, but guess what? That's the past. And in the sky of this reading with this hermit, it's just telling us that it's, the challenge here is finding a way forward. That's the challenge. And the likely outcome is this very weak princess of pentacles, pentacles being value, princess being equivalent to a page, which is a message or a very weak offer of value. OK, then we say, what is the self of that actual question? Will he run in 2024? Not when, but will he run? And we get here. Look, he's the sun. He's going to shine as bright as he possibly can. He's in the environment of this charioteer, which is typically uh, showing uh, things moving kind of at a rapid pace. But in this deck, this chariot, these beasts have, have lain down and he's, his job is to get those beasts up and moving again. So that's the challenge. Um, then. Um, the uh, next card up is a seven of swords, which is the um, hopes and the fears. And this is an abuse uh, or a theft or a thievery. So this fellow is made off with some of that truth, justice, rules, and law, but there's a couple of sticking points left in the ground. And then the final outcome is this small celebration. These three of cups, this coven almost coming together to have a celebration. So it looks like he'll probably give it a go. But it's all weak. It's weak here. It's weak here. It's guarded here. None of it looks particularly, he's at a stall here. So none of it looks particularly promising. I'm going to say he'll give it a go, but it's going to be a weak uh, offer. So that's our buddy, Donnie, and uh, our Donald Trump. And um, let's see how the cards uh, played out. And uh, only time will tell. So you let me know what you think. Stay tuned. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.